let's go ahead and use one of the thumbnails from Joey edits he does all these videos on CapCut editing and as you guys know I love CapCut so let's go ahead and find a thumbnail that I want to replicate okay so I think this one right here how to edit like Iman Godzi is a very good thumbnail so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this video now imagine that I wanted to use this thumbnail as inspiration. I like this thumbnail and I want to recreate it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do for our sake is to just save this. And as we're replicating our thumbnail, we'll have a reference image. All right. Now, next, I'm going to come over here to Canva and I'm just going to click on create a design. And of course, I'm going to click on YouTube thumbnail. Okay, now that we have our blank canvas here, we can go ahead and start building our thumbnail as we go. So let's take a look at the reference image. And the first thing that I'm going to do is search for a grid like background. OK, so I'm going to start with that blue grid background. All right. And the and the way to find this is to just use a stock image website. So there's a whole bunch of them, but we'll start with this place right here. Free pick dot com okay so i'm gonna start by searching on free pick for a grid and i'm trying to find one that's very similar to this one so as you can see it's just like a dark blue grid all right so this one looks pretty good obviously it's not exactly the same but there are some things that we can do in order to change the color of this image so i'm just gonna go ahead and download this grid okay guys and when you're downloading from this website make sure that you copy the attribution and place it in the link in your description of your video so that way you don't get in trouble with them all right so i'm going to come back over to canva and we'll start with that background so let's go ahead and upload that okay i'll bring that background in here now first things first when we look at this at the background of this thumbnail you can see the the grid and the boxes are a lot bigger than how i have mine right here so i'm just going to go ahead and stretch it so there's not as many boxes so it looks more similar to our reference image and now if you look at our reference image it's a lot a, a lot darker of a blue so what we can do is click on edit photo and we'll try and make it a little bit darker. What we can do is we can click on adjust right here. And now we can mess around with these settings to try and get our background grid color more similar to this dark blue. All right, guys. So I think that that grid is pretty similar to our reference image. OK, so as you can see, all I did was play around with the settings over here under adjust when you bring in your image and i just adjusted the temperature the tint pretty much everything and now we have it very similar to our reference image now that we have the background i want to go ahead and create this banner right here where it says edit like him so in order to do that part i'm going to come over here to this tool called tech studio now that i'm here in tech studio guys i'll be looking for a text that looks similar to the one that he's using right here and i'm also going to use the red gradient background or i'm going to create that gradient red background so we can have that very same banner up top with the same style text All right, first i need to find a font that looks very similar to that one monster bites is italic i think that looks very similar so i'm going to go ahead and use that one which is, so over here under styles and background is where you can change all these different colors all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change out these colors. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty good. I think that's gonna work just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and download that. So I'm just gonna download as a PNG. Okay, one more thing that I wanna do to that text, if you notice, since we're using the free version of that tool, the letters look somewhat blurry. Okay, that text looks a little bit blurry. And I want it to be a little bit more crisp. So let me just delete that. And I'm going to come over to this tool right here called pixelcut.ai. And I'm going to use their upscaler tool. And I'm just going to bring in that text. Look how clean those the text looks now. 
all right so let me download that and now we'll go back over to canva and upload the upscale version so that's much better now let's take a look at our reference image as you can see there is one two three boxes and this is like right above that i think that looks pretty good you guys okay so our next step is going to be getting this picture of iman godzi so i cannot find a good high quality image on google so i'm just gonna go ahead and take a screenshot from this video right here and then i'll come back over to pixel cut and i'll remove the background okay guys i'm back in pixel cut so let's go ahead and remove the background from his photo all right and we'll download that now let's try to upscale this image all right so let's head back over to canva to our thumbnail and let's go ahead and upload that image like i said it doesn't have to be exact guys we're just trying to replicate something that we saw and that we want to use as inspiration so i think his head needs to be a little bit bigger take a look at the reference image okay guys now let's see if we can make this image any clearer so i'm gonna go ahead and come over here to edit photo i'm gonna go to adjust come down here to the sharpness that looks much better all right guys now as you can see i've been playing around with the settings on this photo of him I haven't been able to get it as clear as the one on this thumbnail. However, you guys get the point. We've gotten it very close. Now we're just going to go ahead and add in our CapCut logo and our arrow to finish off this image. So for the CapCut logo, what we can do is just come over to Google and search for a CapCut logo. And this one right here is going to work perfect. So we'll just download that one. I'm going to go back over to pixel cut and I'm going to remove the background from it. Download that. Okay, guys. So I removed the background from that cap cut logo. And now I'm just going to go ahead and upscale it to make sure that it's a nice, crisp, sharp image. So let's go ahead and download that. All right. So I removed the background. I upscaled it. And now we can bring that over into our thumbnail. Now, if you see on our reference thumbnail, it doesn't really have a drop shadow. It's like a 3D CapCut logo. So probably not gonna be able to create exactly that, but we will turn it just a little bit because it looks like it's slanted somewhat, maybe just a little bit. And we're gonna size it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we add somewhat of a drop shadow to it. Let's try a white drop shadow, see if we can get, Should let's try a little bit gray okay let's look at our reference image oh there we go so i was able to create somewhat of the same effect did you guys see how i did that so take a look at now you see this cap cut logo and now you see mine so what I did was I changed the shadow instead of black, I changed it to gray and it almost has that 3D effect. I changed the angle of the shadow and the distance and I also took the blur amount completely out. So there's no blur in there. So now it gives it almost somewhat of a 3D effect, very similar to the one in our reference image. All right, so that's about as good as it's gonna get for that. That looks about good okay now let's go ahead and add in the final touch which is this arrow coming down so let's try and find so what you're going to do is come over to the elements tab and let's just search up arrow and we'll click under the graphics tab we'll click see all and now what we want to do is just find an arrow that looks very similar to this one which to me, I think it's this one right here, actually. That might be the same exact arrow. So let's click on that. I think it might be the same arrow. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate it. Shrink it down a little bit. All right, guys, so now the only problem with the elements, for instance, this arrow, is that you can't actually, there's no way 
at least as far as I know, to add a drop shadow to it. For whatever reason, I don't have those same options. So what I can do is try to do something a little bit tricky. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and turn it, turn the second one black. Okay, and now let me try the transparency. And let's move it backwards. Under the layer tab, you're gonna send it backwards. So that's a little that's a little trick if you if you you're using an element from CapCut or excuse me, if you're using an element from Canva and you wanted to add a drop shadow to it, but there is no option for that. You could just duplicate it, turn it black, and then bump up the opacity or the transparency so that way it looks similar to a drop shadow. We don't get that blurred effect, but it's close. It's close. And now there we go. We have a very similar thumbnail. Okay, you guys. So I'll go ahead and download this one and we can see them side by side. Okay guys, so there you have it. There are the results. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And now you understand the process of trying to recreate a thumbnail that you like or that you're inspired by. Okay guys, so I will see you in the next video.